Hi, good morning, Bible Revival. Nick Grana, standing in front of this structure. It looks like uh, the Arc of the Triumph in France, you know, the archway. Also in Greenwich Village, there's something that replicated that that looks like this. Anyway, we're getting back to the Bible. Uh, I thought the backdrop was pretty cool. And we're talking about the Bible basics, back to the Word. And what does he say in Jeremiah, Old Testament, 723? Obey me and I will be your God. Imagine, if you obey him, he'll be with you. So, and what does that, what does that obedience call for? To be disciplined, A tough thing to be disciplined. Like when your coach tells you to do wind sprints or so many sit-ups, you just want to play the game. You don't really want to do all the discipline of road work. If you're a boxer, jumping rope, or a wrestler, dieting, I want the cheeseburger, I don't want to have cauliflower. So discipline in the word. Gratitude, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't even, sometimes we don't thank enough. We're blessed. It's, I used to say, be thankful for what you have, not what you want. Be glad for what you have and uh, not what you want. So, exercise. Exercise physically, it's an engine. Our mind is part of our body. So plan to improve your health, you know, through walking, dieting, drinking a lot of water, just some, you know, fruit and vegetables. But the exercise, keep the machine healthy. So, and pray from the heart where my spirit needs God. So we're obeying him. You know, you only, when you pray, it could be short. The shorter, the better, I think St. Francis said. So when you pray, short, simple prayers, fewer words, light a candle, get the essence of a nice aroma, plus the, I think a candle's pretty hip um, for that. So what happens after we read? And obedient, here's what he'll do to you. As Ezra 36, 26, 36, 20, Old Testament. I will give you a new heart, a heart transfusion. I'll give you a new heart. I will put a new spirit in you. Because he does change you. You can't prove, I can't prove God only by the lives that he's changed. That's, that's the working of the Lord's heart on people. So... James, now New Testament, we'll close here. James 1.27, religion that the God accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Again, Jeremiah 7.23, where we started. Obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Only do as I say, and all will be well. Amen. Okay, love you. Feed on these words, on these verses. Take care.